Our next guest is the original clown doctor who proved to the world that sometimes laughter really is the best medicine. <laughs> it's the Oscar-nominated film that became a family favourite. Hi. Hi. Bye. 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 But the story of Patch Adams is far from fiction. <laughs> He's a real physician who has devoted the past 50 years of his life to changing the way people receive care. I went through medical school with the idea I wanted to use medicine for social change, so I addressed, uh, looked at medical problems and care delivery. His work has taken him to war zones, refugee camps and natural disaster sites. I've clowned in 81 countries. People hunger for love, and clowning is a trick to get love close. And now Patch is helping vulnerable Australians access vital health care. Oh, beautiful stuff. And the real Patch, Dr Hunter Doherty Adams, joins us now from Illinois. Good morning to you. Thank you for your time. <laughs> um, you're a legend. What inspired you to start this all up? Well, I had a great mother. Yeah. who only knew loving and care. She was a school teacher. And then I entered medical school, and I, I'm a nerd, so I didn't have to study much. And I noticed within a month there was nothing right about the hospitals in the United States. They were boring. They were unhealthy-looking. 95% of the professors were rude, arrogant, naughty men. And so I said, and it was expensive. So I said, why don't I spend my medical school years designing a hospital that would be fun to be in? And how much difference do you think laughter makes? Well, I could ask in reference to what? <laughs> to getting better, you to know, one's I... physical health. Well, the six qualities I find really important are happy, funny, loving, cooperative, creative, and thoughtful. And I think laughter is a good part of all of them. Can I ask this, and I that think it's 100% uh, true. Um, what was, what did you think of Robin Williams' portrayal of your early life? I mean, is that a, is that a strange, was that a strange thing for you to witness? Do you think he did a good job? Well, the movie promised to build my free hospital and didn't give me a cent, so that part I didn't like. Okay. I saw that Robin, where I'm an extreme extrovert, he was an extreme introvert. Mm. So I didn't invade his life very much because I saw his life invaded. I did live in his home for 12 days and found him to be a wonderful, kind, and loving man. Oh. I think the portrayal that he did, I mean... The thing that upset me, really, was that in the movie, it is my girlfriend that is murdered, and in real life, it was my best male friend. And, and I had to apologize to their family. And, oh. and so, outside of that, the movie, for me, is very tame. Uh, my life has been a lot more outrageous than the <laughs> film. <laughs> Well, you're very much at heart an activist. You do so much good around the world. And I've got to say, it feels right now like the whole world needs a clown doctor. What is your advice for staying positive? Well, it's interesting. Nothing like this was given in medical school. In fact, there was nothing about love or happiness or humour there was nothing really about exercise or diet. And so, in a way, though, all those things had to be discovered if one wanted to discover what health was. And I already knew that humor and love were directly involved in, in health. Mm. And at the very core is, is that one option in life is that each person can choose 
who they decide to be, and if they stay focused, they can be that all of their life. 100%. Are you now the international ambassador for an Australian charity called Hands on Health? Um, what do they do, and your involvement's fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm more of a name for them, I think, because both of us, their group and our group, are committed to help bringing health care and, and health giving to the poor and disadvantaged, and so we're busy and both underfunded. Well, well done you for being involved and to find out more you can head to the Hands on Health website hoha.org.au. Patch, thank you so much for talking to this morning. We really appreciate it. Can well, I ask people to, if they want more info, to go to patchadams.org. Okay, well we, done. I'm thank an org. You're an org. Okay, <laughs> we'll pass that on on our website. Thank you.